Uh, today we're out on Michael Zell's property. Uh, we've been working with Michael for a couple of years now on a couple of projects. Um, standing right in the middle of a, a paddock which we've done some direct seeding on and looking at rehabilitating it with some native trees and getting it back into good condition. One of the other projects we've been working on with Michael um, is a burial site and we've done a repatriation. The burial was discovered a couple of years ago. Uh, Michael contacted us and in, we've contacted um, OEH and uh, as a result of that, in consultation with community, the ancestral remains have been reburied and are being protected here on Michael's place. So. Burial sites are, are very significant to Aboriginal people, um, very, very significant. So any time that we do find a burial, it's, uh, it's important that the burial is treated with respect uh, and that you know, we follow our Aboriginal cultural law and tradition and, and put it back um, in a proper way. And, um, and look after it into the future. And we're very happy that Michael's on board and does respect the, the burial and, you know, and the values surrounding that and, and he's very happy to, to be a caretaker and, and um, for his family to continue looking after it. Yeah, well, I mean, in my experience, you know, with, with, with um, this sort of thing, you know, you know there's, there's no big issues like that uh, anyone really has to worry about. Like, you know, this burial was marked as an Aboriginal place, but it doesn't have any effect on what I do. Or, you know, you can still sell the place. You can, you know, you can keep farming, whatever you like. I just chose to, to fence this area off to, to plant trees on it. So, Cause that's what I wanted to do as part of, you know, my management plan of the place. But, but yeah, I don't think there's anything really for people to be afraid of. You when they find these sort of things because it doesn't entitle anyone to just roam onto your place and do whatever they want. You, they, you know, it's still yours and you, you say what goes on basically, as long as you, know, you don't go destroying things and that sort of thing, you don't have anything to worry about. A lot of our values and a lot of our sites fall on private land. Now yeah, look, it's very important for Aboriginal communities to have landowners and people like Michael on board. You know, it's, it's only through uh, building relationships, um, you know, and partnerships with people like Michael that we, first of all, gain knowledge about what's actually out there on the landscapes in terms of cultural values. And, you know, with people like Michael, we'll hopefully get access to some of those sites. And then obviously without people um, willing to, to look after and protect them, they're, they're not going to be, be around into the future. So, you know, communities are very, very lucky to have landowners that are willing to work with us and to protect our cultural values that are, exist on their property, so. I've always had a bit of an interest in, you know, Aboriginal artefacts and things, and yeah, I just thought, well, I'll, I'll, I've got to do something about this, so yeah, it was very interesting. But, you know, it's part of Australia's history, so, you know, I'm just interested in things like that, yeah. Yeah, it's only a small little area that's fenced off, like it wouldn't be a quarter of a hectare, so yeah, it's not making any difference to why I run the farm or anything, so. I think it's, it's, an, it's another way, just another layer uh, of values across your property. You know, you can look at the natural values that are here, you can look at the soils, you can look at the, a whole range of ecosystems and whatever, but there is also a cultural value, you know, and the, the more you know about your, your little patch of dirt, you know, that, that's got to be a good thing. Um, and it just gives a really good picture of what was here before. You know, we can look around and find campsites and we can, we can look at the, the traditional use patterns across a, a landscape and a property. And, you know, just even for interest sake, you know, that, that's, a, that's a part of the history and a, and a part of, of, of what the property is, is about and where it's came from. So, you know, it's just, just another, uh, another layer of values that you know, I just want to say to people that it, you know, it's something that we shouldn't be afraid of. You know, communities are very, very keen to, to work with landowners and form partnerships, you know, and it's, it's about finding that common ground for us, you know, and we all want to, to hand something on to the next generation and that, our future, and knowledge has got to be a part of that, you know. So, you know, let's, let's work together and, and um, share that, that knowledge and, and respect and, um, yeah, look after it for our future generations.